Now, there are three main ways you can stream to Trovo using your phone. The first and easiest way is through the Trovo app directly. The second is through another mobile app or third party OBS, which will give you slightly more freedom with your alerts and overlays. And the third is by casting your phone to a PC or laptop and using OBS there to stream as normal, giving you way more freedom. Why would you want to stream your phone through a PC you ask? Why not just stream PC games? Well Trovo is still very popular for mobile games so if you want to stream a mobile game but have top notch audio, video and a great overlay and alerts to help you stand out above everyone else in your game category then this could be the way to go. I should also say that since you aren't actually playing any games on a PC just running OBS, then your PC specs and performance shouldn't be much of an issue, meaning you can do this on some pretty cheap or old hardware. So if you have an old laptop set around somewhere, it could be worth pulling it out and giving this a go. So I'm going to go through all those methods I just mentioned on how you stream from your phone, but let's start with the simplest, streaming from the Turbo app itself. First things first, you are going to want to make sure you have the Turbo app from your app store and that you are logged in or sign up if you don't have an account yet. Then once you're in, you need to click your profile pic in the top right corner and then hit go live. Then you need to fill in the stream setup page. Choose your game, your stream title and a trending vibe tag, which is similar to hashtags on social media. You can also choose your language, which is very important on Turbo. You can choose your age rating and customize your notification that gets sent out to your followers. From this page, you can also hit layout, which will let you add a basic overlay using a browser source, aka if you are going to be talking about an article or picture, you can display it on your stream using this. In fact, you can put up any website as long as you have the URL. And a few tips here, you can move the URL around and be sad it by moving your fingers over the corners and if you hold down the source you can then change its transparency delete it refresh it or further customize its size under advanced settings you can also change your orientation depending on how you hold your phone as well as set up your streaming quality and a few other quality of life options. Once you are happy with all the settings, hit go live again and start live streaming. Your screen, game audio and microphone will all be live on Turbo as long as you enabled all of them in permissions. If you are on an iPhone or an iOS device, you can receive chat by turning on the push function. If you are on an Android, you can open a chat floating window by clicking float during the stream. Also, the camera function can turn on your camera so your viewers get to see either you or whatever you want to show them IRL. It's also amazing to me that we are in the day and age where it's this easy to go live, but this setup does leave a little bit to be desired from getting the best quality. If you did want a little bit more freedom in what you can do, certainly from an overlay and alerts perspective, I would look into using third-party apps for streaming from your phone. There's a ton out there, but I personally would recommend something like Streamlabs OBS, and I will quickly go through now how to set this up. So of course, download and log into the Streamlabs live stream video mobile app, then go to your account settings via the upper left menu, go to custom PTMP server, then setup, and then copy your host URL and your stream key from your Trovo Creator Studio and paste into custom RTMP and click save. You can then click streaming in the menu to view more streaming settings and play around with that. Then when you are ready, hit the go live button to um, go live. And then that's it, you're live. However, this will just be using your phone camera. If you want to stream gameplay or just your phone screen, you will have to open up the system screen recording menu, then hit Streamlabs and then start broadcast. And don't forget to turn on your microphone if you want people to hear both your voice and the game audio. And the reason the Streamlabs app is so nice is that you can hit editor in the menu you and this will allow you to do things like add and change the size of your camera over your gameplay as well as add images so you can say have an image up asking people to follow or add certain images that really add to your aesthetic of your stream. I believe here you can also set up things like alerts but this still really doesn't give you the range and freedom you can get by streaming on Streamlabs OBS or OBS Studios on the PC. If this is something you are interested in then you need to grab an app that will allow you to capture your phone screen display on your PC. Then from there, use OBS to capture that um, capture. Then stream that capture in the traditional way. You can actually cast your phone screen directly from the Turbo app in the stream setup page that we covered earlier. But there are other apps that you can use such as Visor or Reflector. I would personally avoid wireless if you can as a wired connection through USB is much more consistent and stable. And honestly, if I was going through this route, I would save for a webcam and good quality mic and have that all go through my PC so that the only thing casting from my phone was the gameplay. That way you can customize your overlay to make it as professional as possible, meaning you stand head, shoulders and torso above everyone else streaming in a mobile game category. And don't forget, 
You can also multi-stream using Restream IO on a PC too, or other multi-streaming software, meaning you could stream a mobile game from your phone through a laptop or PC to every possible streaming platform you can think of. If you want to know exactly how to go live to Trovo via PC, or you want to know more about multi-streaming, check out the videos here. And of course, thank you for watching.